was just starting my seventh month into my pregnancy and my sister had asked me after my doctor's appointment to stop in and pick up her artificial Christmas tree. And I was loading it in the back of my trunk of my car and a lady, her foot slipped off, off her brake onto her accelerator and my legs were crushed between the two car bumpers. And at first we thought we'd lose the baby, but we didn't. She's a tough cookie and she still is today. And this is 34 years ago already. I think over the years, and yeah, I've had some tough years and some of them not always great or comfortable or, or easy to get around, but you keep going on and progress with the prosthesis and everything just keeps improving. Just, it's amazing to, to have this leg versus the one I had 34 years ago. It's just totally unreal with progress and technology and how that has progressed. And I think that has made it easier for me too because it's making things easier for me to walk and get around and, and do things. And you know, it's really awesome. What would you tell someone new when it's their first day and they just had an accident? What would you tell them to expect out of the rest of their life? Not a lot will change for you. You can make it work. Yes, you're gonna to have to dedicate a little time to learning a new way of walking, but it's doable. And there isn't much you can't do in life or have to give up in life. Their life is far from being over and there's so much they can do and so much that they can accomplish that the only one stopping them would be themselves. And no one's life is easy. Everyone has challenges no matter what their challenge may be. I just always worked really hard to be the best that I can be. I'm 62 now, and maybe in 15 years I might retire, but not yet. <laughs>